Hello everyone and welcome to some more horrific news. Okay, it looks like we're getting some more Alien news on the TV series. So Alien TV series adds Foundation Star, confirms place in franchise timeline. Noah Hawley's upcoming Alien series in FX adds another cast member and reveals just how many decades it's set before the original movie. Foundation Sandra Yi Sendiver has joined the cast of Alien, which has resumed filming in Thailand. The series previously halted production in August 2023 due to the 2023 SAG after strike. According to Deadline, Sense and Diver will appear in multiple episodes of Alien as a senior member of the Weyland Yutani Corporation. While the actor will be a recurring star in the first series, there's reportedly a chance for her role to grow in future seasons. Sense and Diver is best known for playing Enjoyna Ru Carintha in the second season of the Apple TV and sci fi series Foundation. She'll also have a role in the upcoming Netflix series Geek Girl. Right, interesting. I haven't watched Foundation, so don't really know much about it. A live action Alien series is first reported to be in development in February 2019 with Fargo and Legion creator Noah Hawley coming on board the project as showrunner in December 2020. Deadline noted that the series will be set towards the end of the century, a few years before Prometheus and some 30 years before the events of Ridley Scott's original Alien movie. Alien will also be the first project in the long-running science fiction franchise to take place on Earth. A plot details remain under wraps, the series will repeatedly deal with the emergence of the story's infamous well and Jutani Corporation and the race between corporations to create new android life. Right, interesting. I hope that this doesn't get locked in or fixated on the Xenomorph. I think what this series can be really good is actually giving us a bit of world building in terms of universe. That's something we're severely lacking in the Alien franchise. The original films, in my opinion, focus too much on Ellen Ripley. Shadow 3 movie arc, that was cool. And then they kind of messed it up with regurgitations, the fourth one. They just couldn't let go of her character, but we sort of pigeonholed them. I wasn't a fan of Prometheus, as you well know, and I haven't seen Covenant. But once again, I didn't like that they were just trying to wreck on, you know, just couldn't let go of the whole xenomorph thing. Even Prometheus, like we got them some sort of neomorph, you know, it was still a xenomorph looking thing, trying to make it from a black goo and couldn't leave a space jockey a mystery. They had to come up with a daft plot, you know, really didn't enjoy it. When there's plenty to get on actually in the universe so the whole idea of when do tommy its formation and you know what's actually out there so just for a bit of an address i sort of broke out the role playing book here so this is set in round about uh prometheus took place 2091 so in the round then we'll have a lot of geopolitical stuff going on 2088, leading the technological revolution with such companies as Well and Core and the Utani Corporation, the Three World Empire is formed from the UK, Japan, and other nations. So we're actually starting to see empires being formed again in the universe. And there's another notable event in 2106. Civil war breaks out on the colony world of Torin Prime and the Outer Rim territories. At the resolution of a two year conflict, the planet is reinstated into the United American colonies. Over 15,000 lives are lost when the UAS troop carrier Archangel is destroyed during a peacekeeping mission in Thedos. In the wake of these conflicts, the Union of Progressive Peoples is formed. And then we also have, where are we looking at? So that's just after the events of Covenant, we've got Civil War, and then we've got the Union of Progressive Peoples, we've got the Three World Empire, and then, when is that formed? Ah, so 2103, the USCSS Covenant, Earth's first long distance large scale colonization effort is announced. The political group known as the Earth Savers repeatedly fails to sabotage the Covenant mission. North, South, and Central America unifying to form United Americas. The Covenant is successfully launched from Earth's orbit, carrying over 2,000 colonists, members bound for a planet, or I guess six in the distance sector 87. So was that uh, mentioned in Covenant? I know people didn't like it, but that was essentially the forming of the United Americas. We'll have um, the Three World Order is already in place, events of Prometheus, and then just afterwards, we get the Union of Progressive People. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the period that doesn't even mention Xenomorph. I suppose the point I'm trying to make here. There's a lot of material to be mined and a lot of storylines. And I think this is where this series could be really cool. Looking into all that and the sort of the universe and how it came about, and then the corporations. I'm planning to do a series of videos. I'm actually waiting for another book to come in because I want to use a couple of sources and I want to do a series of videos talking about the geopolitical, the corporations, and various other things in the alien universe. But it would be nice for the TV show to touch this because that's how you'll get, you know, that's what TV shows are for giving a more in depth look at things and deeper in the world, which you can't do with a movie. Movies are big events and single adventures, you know, because you only got so much time to do it. This with a TV show could be really cool as long as i get the feeling look of alien and it doesn't look markedly different we've got a chance here or something cool but 
obviously how it goes. Anyway, let's jump back in the article. Initially envisioned as a limited series, Holly has revealed that Alien will now run for multiple seasons, with a 3 act story already mapped out. I knew that FX's desire was for a recurring series, not a limited series, and I had an idea that I was excited about, but I could see the escalation of it from one year to another, he explained in January 2024. That's where we ended up not pitching them having a bible or pitching them blow by blow, but saying, big picture, this is the first movement, this is the second movement, and we're ultimately going here. That's quite heartening. If they have a number of seasons that they're going to tell a story in, cool, and don't rush to wrap it up or fix it. You know what I mean? If they cancel your show, they cancel your show. But this is where having a vision will make it more compelling that it is actually going somewhere. And more importantly, there is an end point. Big thing TV shows do is just beat themselves to death. They, they don't see beyond the end of their nose and they write season to season and they write themselves in the corner and then they end up ruining the thing. So if he actually has a plan and essentially saying, right, this is where we're going, this is where we're going to end up. And if it ties into the universe and brings some of this other stuff in and doesn't just go, right, what, second episode with a xenomorph on about Earth? Because the whole point of the Alien franchise was these things were to get nowhere near Earth and if it did, it would be a disaster. You know, so as long as he doesn't break that, got a good chance here. And while there hasn't been a new Alien movie on the big screen since 2017's Alien Covenant, that's about to change. 20th Century Studios is gearing up to begin marketing the ninth installment in the franchise, Alien Romulus, which is set to hit theaters in August of 16, 2024. Betty Alvarez directed the movie which is set between the events of 1979's Alien and 1986's Aliens, from a screenplay he wrote with Rodo Sayegas. The synopsis for the movie reads as follows. On a distant colony, the group finds themselves in a fight for their lives with the titular Alien. God, that's telling you loads. Alien is expected to premiere on FX and Hulu in the first half of 2025. Alright then. I suppose this will depend how well Romulus does, if people are even going to be interested in the TV show. If Romulus turns out to be an absolute bag of spanners and people go, nah, no thanks, and get a bad taste in mouth, the TV show is going to be in trouble. If Romulus does well and then that's going to bring people to the TV show and then it's up to the TV show to not just be an alien movie, it needs to be more. And this is where I'm saying the peek behind the curtain in the universe would be fascinating. But I suppose we can see where it goes. No, Holly, he said a few good things in the past. He's saying the right things, uh, basically what I'm trying to say. I have hope for him to do a good job, as long as he doesn't get railroaded by the executives. And I think at this point, with being so many movies, there needs to be lore masters. There needs to be people actually in charge of the storyline and tidying it up and making sure moving forward, because we've had a few stinkers and a lot of people annoyed. So I think at this point, seeing it's a long run series, the need to sort of make sure where things fit in and keep it that way because that's don't let it spiral out of control don't let each movie or each show just be a random thing and don't just focus on the xenomorphs yes xenomorphs are cool love them absolutely fantastic creature and uh, the stuff of legends if you think about it and uh, you know absolutely terrifying things if you were to do them in the real world but there's so much more to this universe that can be looked at but there you go what do you think are you as excited for this not bothered any thoughts like I changed my mind I wasn't originally interested now I am so glad to see same with more ominous I wasn't interested but I saw the first trailer I'm like actually this could be quite cool if I just go back to a gritty horror movie don't try to over explain everything because that's not what movies are for so let me know what you think anyway and uh, obviously as I find out more I'll drop it on here so just easy to say keep up with the other channel do the type of clicky things and until next time keep it creepy keep it horrific